This is part two of um, review of priority standard PS 14 and 16. So this is part two. We're starting on question seven. So make sure you're following along. Um, I'm sorry, that's this is in two videos, but this is PS 14 slash 16 review part two. So starting at question seven, draw two parallelograms, each with an area of 16 square units. Um, the two parallelograms should not be identical copies of each other. Label the base and the height. So don't forget all the parts. So we know a parallelogram needs to have four sides. And the opposite sides need to be parallel with each other. So parallel sides. Um, remember the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So really, we just need to find, we can just do rectangles, really, and the area needs to be 16. So you can try to do your own, but I know, I'm going to just start off, I know 4 times 4 is 16, so I'm going to draw a 4 by 4 square, and I'm going to label it, let's say, 4 by 4, because I know 4 times 4 equals 16 units squared, so that one would work. You could also do, I know 8 times 2 is 16, so I'm going to say this side is 2, and I'm going to go down 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 2 by 8, because I know 2 times 8 would give me 16 units squared. There's other ones you can do, but those are some examples. Um, some people might want to do a parallelogram that looks like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then one, two, three, four. And then kind of have a slanted one where the base is four. Oops, that wouldn't work. I need to go up one more. <laughs> so if it was like that, then the base is four and the height is four, that would be like another example that looks different. But there's lots of answers. Make sure the base times the height multiply to get 16. Next one, the figure is a diagram of a sign Lengths are given in inches. What is the area of the sign? So let's look at this. I'm going to split this into a triangle and a rectangle. So let's start by finding the area of the triangle. So think of this triangle. I know this part is 5, this part is 5, and I need to find out how big this part is. So I know, oh, from here to here is 10, so that means here to here is 10. So the whole base would be 5 plus 10 plus 5 because I have these three parts. I know 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. So the base of our triangle is 20. And then we need to find out what the height is. We know from here this whole length from here to here is 36. But that is not the height of our triangle. Our triangle is less than that. So we have to look at our information. Oh, so we see... From here to here is 26, and then we have to see how much more would get us to get us to 36. And I know that would be 10, because I know 26 plus 10 would be 36. So that means the height must be 10. So let's find the area of the triangle. The base, which is 20, times the height, which is 10, divided by 2. Okay, so 20 times 10 is 200. 200 divided by 2 is 100 units squared. So the triangle's area is 100 units squared. Now let's look at the rectangle. So I see, okay, the base is 26 and the height is 10. Don't look at the other numbers because we just need to know the base and the height. So if it's 26 by 10, to find the area of that, you just multiply the base times the height, which is 260 units squared. So I'm going to do 260 plus 100, which just gives me 360 units squared for question A. That's the area of this figure. Question B, a person is going to paint the sign front, front and back. How many square inches will they need to cover? So the front, we just found out the area of the front. The front is 360. If we have the back... The back is also going to be 360 because it's the same area. So 360 plus 360 or 360 times 2 would be 720. 
and I just realized it's in inches, so inches squared. Moving on to question eight. Um, oh, we just did question eight. So we're moving on to question nine. Here we go. Okay. So we are trying to find some surface area. So surface area, remember surface area, area is always squared. So surface area is gonna be squared. So what is the surface area of, the rect of these rectangular prisms? So this one, we have six faces. So make a list one through six, because we know we, know we, we need to find six areas and then we're gonna add them up to find the total surface area. So I see this face is three by two. And three times two is six, six centimeters squared. So I know one side is six. That means the opposite red side I can't see is also six. I'm gonna do the top in green. I didn't know the dimensions of this are three by two. Three times two again is six units squared. So that area is six and the bottom green we can't see is also six. And then we got a yellow side. Looks like the base is two and the height is also two. Two times two would be four. So one side's four and the opposite side is also four. And these are all centimeters squared. So centimeters squared. And we've got to add them up. So six plus six plus six plus six plus four plus four. If you add them up all correctly and try it on your own first, you should get 32 centimeters squared. Okay, the next one is going to be a little bit trickier, but we can do it. So I need to find six areas again because it's a rectangular prism, and then I'll add them all up. So the front face is 12 by and looks like 8. So we're going to do 12 times 8. 12 times 8 equals 96 feet squared. So that side's 96. The opposite side we can't see is also 96. I'm going to do one in yellow. So this side, the base looks like it's 3 and the height is 8. 3 times 8 is 24 feet squared. So we have 24. The opposite side we can't see is also 24. And then we're going to do the top um, right here. I'll do it in green. So if this is 12, then this is 12. If this is three, then this is three. So the base is 12 and the height is three. 12 times three is 36 feet squared. So we have plus 36, plus 36. You can do the math to add it up. Make sure you um, do the math correctly and take your time and check your answer to make sure you didn't mess up. But it should be 312. So 312 and we have feet squared. Area is always squared. Question 10, here is a net made of a square and four identical triangles. All measurements are given in centimeters. Question A, if the net were folded and assembled, what type of polyhedron would it make? So I know this is a pyramid because it has all those triangles and the type of pyramid it is is the one in the center. So it's a square, so a square pyramid. Question B, what is the surface area of the polyhedron? Show your reasoning. So I know the base is four and the height is four. Four times four is 16 units squared. And then I'm gonna find the area of these triangles. They're all the same. So I'm gonna look at um, this triangle over here because this is the only one that has the height. So it looks like the height is seven. And I look for this square and I try to find out what is the base right there. So if I know this is four, then this other side is four. So for this triangle, you would do seven times four divided by two. So seven times four is 28, and 28 divided by two is 14 units squared. I guess it's centimeters, so square centimeters. So this triangle is 14, this triangle is 14, this triangle is 14, and this triangle is 14 centimeters squared. So you gotta add up all five, um, and I'm gonna just do one, two, three, four, five, so I don't mess up and not add one of them. So I know the square is 16, and I know each of the triangles is 14. So if I'm adding up um, 
five numbers and when I add it up, if I do so correctly, I should get 72. So my surface area is 72 centimeters squared. Okay, last two, we're cruising. Question 11. A cube, remember cube is 3D, has a side length of six centimeters. What is its surface area? So I'm gonna draw a cube so we can just visualize and you're welcome to draw it on your paper so you can have it for the test. If one side is six, that means the other side is six and all of the sides are six. So the nice thing about a cube is every area is, um, every face is a square and all the squares have the same area. So just like a rectangular prism, there are six areas to a cube and then you add up all six to get the surface area, just like we've done for all the other types of rectangular prisms. But it's much faster for a cube because I know one face of the cube, one area would be six times six, which is 36. So that means the front area is 36 and then the opposite blue would be 36. Let's say I had this as red. This one would also be six times six, which is 36. So the one red side is 36, the opposite red side is 36. And let's say the top, I find the area of um, is also six by six because it's the same dimensions, which is 36. So the top 36, um, the top's area is 36 and the bottom's area is also 36. Notice they're all 36. So you can add it up six times or a quicker way to do it would just be doing 36 times six. But just make sure you know why you're doing that. So six times six is 36. Six times three is 18. 18 plus three is 21. So this would be 216 centimeters squared, area squared. Okay, last one. Don't mess up on it. This is area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. We can do this. So if the base is 20, and we have this square, and the height is eight, most people are just gonna do 20 times eight, but not you, because you're watching this video. So then we're gonna divide by two. So 20 times eight is 160, and 160 divided by two would give us 80 meters squared. Don't be the person who puts 160 for their answer because you didn't divide by two. Um, so be careful. Thank you for watching the video and 